Welcome back, everybody. Hope you're all having a wonderful day. From here, oh, you can see all three. So there's a zombie spawner. A zombie spawner, and I think that's a spider spawner. So those are, so we got three spawners under that one little hill there. Well, as I was lighting, uh, when I was lighting all the caverns up, I just ran across them. They're actually in open caves. I didn't, haven't found any underneath this city area. It's so weird that they're all like clustered over there. So I'm going to have to do something with those. At least make some kind of, uh, you know, XP farm or something. Because I had, I just got back from uh, spawn. I had to take the nether tunnel over there because my tools were all uh, in need of repair. So I had to go over there and use the mending on the tools to repair them. That is because I've been working underground here in the crypts. So down here, so this is the mausoleum entrance. So you go down here and you're going to go down these stairs into the crypts here. Uh, I'm still cleaning this out, so I'm going to need to finish cleaning this out. I didn't have a uh, shovel. Both of my shovels are in the red, almost dead. Ooh, that rhymes. In the red and almost dead. So I had to revive them. So now I can finish digging this out. So the floor is going to be at uh, this level. It's mainly going to be like cracked stone, mossy cobble, normal, uh, not mossy cobble, mossy brick and normal brick. So we'll have a stone brick floor going all the way through here. So my uh, idea or layout for this, I don't really have, uh, I have not sketched out anything. So this is kind of sort of going to be a wing in it. I figured here there'll be a passageway that goes all the way down over to here. So there'll be a wall right about here someplace. Not right up against there. There'll be a small gap between these two walls. So, uh, of course, so the Enderman can run around. What else do I need? And then I'll have a few offshoots here where there'll be a like a little hallway down here. And then on either side, there'll be like uh, crypts through there. So there'll be like three or four hallways down here. I'll have to figure out. I figure the crypt would be three long for the coffin. So maybe five long for the crypt and then three in the middle. So if we go over here to the wall, there'll be uh, one, two, three, four, five. So this would be where, so this would be the hallway. Where's my thing? There we go. So the hallway would go, so that'd be one, two, three, four, five. So this would be the hallway. Because there'll be a wall right there. And this would go one, two, three, four, five. And then we'll have another wall right there. And then we'll do the same thing here. So one, two, three, four, five. And then one, two, three, four, five. And then the wall would go right there. One, two, three, four, five. Wall would be right there. So we'd get like two rows going through here. There'll be another hallway running this way. So we'll go cut across here, cut through here. And it'll meet up with this hallway. So there'll be a hallway here. So I think... I don't think there's enough room. Is there enough room? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. So maybe there might be enough room to put the wall here and then one more set. So down here there'll be another set of crypts or coffin areas. I guess there'll be crypts. Another set of, yeah, the little al basically an alcove where the uh, coffin is going to be. So there'll be another set going down here. So this, and then the hallway is going to go through here. I debated leaving this open because I got this huge open space here, but I think I'm going to close that off. At least close this wall off so it'll still be there. And then this will go all the way down. Then I figure there'll be another hallway. 
in another set of parallel or perpendicular hallways for the crypts. But by the time you get way over here, I may or may not use all of this space. But at least this space here where we've got the stairs going down. So this hallway has to go all the way back down here and meet up. There'll be an open area here with um, crypts and stuff. But then once we get way over here, I got cut down all these trees and stuff. Once we get over here to this side, if you remember, this is the stairs that lead up into the church itself. So down here, this, all this area here, there'll be a wall right here, maybe a door. Maybe a door, but there'll be a wall here basically separating the crypt area on this side from this is going to be the quarters for the priests and stuff. So, so we'll uh, wall this off and put in rooms, uh, probably a banquet hall for them to eat in, a little library for them to study in, that kind of stuff. So I guess, as you can tell, this is going to be probably more than one episode. But what's new? Everything I do is, tends to be more than one episode because I've got plenty of time. Time is on my side. At least for now. Maybe in a few years, uh, I've got one foot in the grave. Time won't quite be on my side, but I figure right now might as well uh, take my time. There's no use rushing things. Once you rush things, you tend to not enjoy them. Kind of reminds me of like speed running. You know when people speed run games, I don't understand. I guess there is a challenge, like how fast can I get it done? But I always figure it's like not a good investment in your money because you spent, you know, fifty, sixty dollars on a game, and then you're gonna speed run it and get it done in, you know, 10, 15 minutes. So you're basically paying, you know, what, thirty dollars a minute or something like that. I mean, yeah, not $30 a minute. I, got, I can't do math. If I could do math, I'd have a better explanation. But you get the gist, the gist of what I'm saying. It's like, how you doing is reducing the enjoyment. I always think you're reducing the enjoyment. Well, so take your time and enjoy things. It's like these people that rush from one spot to another. Like, you know, rush, rush to do this. Rush to the gym. Rush back home. Rush the work. It's like, take time, smell the roses, take a walk, start a little, you know, get up a little early, take a walk to work. Enjoy the sunshine, enjoy the nice weather. I mean, you only, uh, you're only going to be around for so long, so you might as well enjoy it. And you don't get any points for uh, rushing through things. It's like, oh yeah, he's, uh, look at him, he got to the gym quicker than everyone else, so... It just, uh, it's just, uh, I guess it's a mindset. You just need to relax, take your time, and that's, I mean, I used to rush around and try and do things fast, 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 and I just, I just, it's just not that enjoyable. You think you're getting things done, you think you're much more efficient, but I tell you, it's just, uh, it's almost, it's more stress than it's work. Because you get into this mindset where everything's got to be super fast, super rushed. And if you ever slow down and kind of, you know, or slow, you know, slow and have to take your time. Or even if you're like in traffic and forced to wait or something like that. You just, the stress you get is unbelievable. It's, it's like, I've got to be fast. I've got to keep moving. Got to keep moving. Got to keep moving. It's like, even though it's like nothing you can do. Like if, if you're in traffic, there's nothing you can do. But you just sit there and you tap your finger, tap your feet, you're anxious, you're looking around, you keep, you know, rubbernecking it, trying to see around traffic, figure out what's slowing things up, why aren't we moving, when are we going to move, how are we going to move, you know. You just spend all your time worrying about that kind of stuff when, honestly, God, there's nothing you can do about it. If you're stuck in traffic, you're stuck in traffic. You're not going anywhere until everyone's moved. So it doesn't do any good to, you know, kind of like weaving your car in and out and trying to see what's up there, what's going on, all this kind of stuff. Might as well just, you know, put the radio on, sit back, relax, and uh, 
Hope you have a little bottle of pee in if it's too long, because that's the only time I could think being, you know, if you're anxious in traffic, because it's like, I, if you need to go take a pee, um, now I can, okay, I can, I'll excuse that for, because I can see where you would need to rush to do that, because, and that's usually it, too, it's like, ugh. a lot of time you're usually like, you just got past the rest area, and then you, bam, you run into a traffic jam, so you can't get off the freeway, and then you end up, it's like, remembering, it's like, why did I drink that gigantic 44-ounce uh, drink? Why did I have that drink before I got in the car? So, yeah, I will go finish. I'll stop rambling about basically nothing. Sorry about that. Um, I will uh, finish clearing this out, and then we can start putting. Maybe I'll you know put some, some floors in, lay out the uh, the scheme of things down there, and at least get get us uh, kind of a foundation or an outline of what's going to be coming in the next couple episodes. Look at that, all cleared out. So this is down to the level below the floor. So I can just lay the floor out here as I need it. So like I said, this will be the wall here. Oh, I hear a, I hear a zombie. Okay. And I'm, I'm done ranting and raving for a while, so we're just gonna get to a little bit of work here. Where is that zombie at? He must be. Oh, I bet they're above me. Ooh, what is that? I have a hole. Yeah, I bet the zombies are. Yeah, the zombies I have up there, the ones that I, <laughs> the ones I spent all that time and work getting moved over there. That's what I'm hearing. So let me patch this hole up over here. Yeah, the hole's here. So yeah, I was hearing these guys making a bunch of noise. Yes, yes. So they're still there. That's good. So let's do that. Oh yeah, I do see a little bit of smoke, but I think that'll be fine. If it gets too annoying, I'll uh, I'll go through and put like a glowstone or maybe a lit pumpkin. Lit pumpkins are always good. That's like a cheap fallback to lighting. It's much cheaper than glowstone. And it's pretty easy to make. So where were we? Oh yeah, we were down here. So we are here. So this is going to be the hallway. So it's going to be one... Like five across. I like the idea of five across because it's big and wide. I don't know if that goes against uh, how crypts are supposed to be, but I want you know the the cathedral is pretty massive up there, so I thought the crypt should be too. Yeah, so I guess five wide would be a great hallway. It doesn't have to be really small. I need to do the walls. Let's uh, so let's mark this out. So I'm gonna cobble where walls are gonna go. I'll probably have to pop out a few of these just to uh, to make doorways. So here we're gonna have one, two, three, two, 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 one, two, three, four, five. So I don't need these two. So. Okay, so that is going to be the hallway going this way. And this is just going to shoot all the way over here. There'll be a few, you know, spin-off, you know, hallways here and there. But for the most part, this is where we're going. Until I fall off the edge. Like that. There we go. So that runs us all the way down here. And this may become all brick because I've got this stairway. I got so the stairway is going to go here. That means there's going to be a wall right there. 
And this wall is actually, yeah, we'll, it's going to go all the way across there. There may be a door here. Like a sealed door. But this is going to be, you know, mainly kind of a very private entrance right there. Well, let's get back to this other side. I guess let's start at that end. We'll work our way this in. I don't know how far I'm going to get. Because I am already, what am I, like 15 minutes into this video. And I don't want it to go for an hour or two. And I probably could if I, uh, if I wanted. But I will break it up into more malleable chunks so you can enjoy the enjoy it more look at that we're going to take time to get rid of these guys because look there's two of them now i don't know what it is why we have so many endermen here where'd you go oh where'd he go Gone. Come back here. He doesn't sound happy. How do I get out of here? Oh, there you are. Ha 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 ha. And you even put a block there, dummies. Look, there's a block over there. I just cleared that out not too long ago. That's that new uh, riverbed. I need to put the walls here. I need to finish the walls over on that too. So, Just checking. Just checking to see if I got more intermittent. I know they're out there. There are so many of them. I don't know why there are so many. I find like four or five in a wall every once in a while. I just have to get rid of them. But this does get me back to where I no, yeah, where I need to be. Here we go. So let's get back over here. Let's push this. Oh, I think I will have the wall here. Yeah. So if I remember right, I mean, it was, you know, it, it was like five, six minutes ago, but I want to do one, two, three, four, five. So, yeah, so because the coffin is going to be, th or the crypt is going to be three long. And I want space in the front, space in the back. So one, two, three, four, five. So that would make the wall there. Skip three and do another wall there. And then it's going to shoot all the way over here. Let's see about width. So if I put the coffin here, or the sarcophagus, maybe that's what the better word for it. Uh, that one there. There. They don't need a lot of room. Just I just want one block around like that. Yeah, so maybe oop, we'll just take this and move it over one. I'm not married to uh, having that wall there. This actually kind of works out better because I can actually go all the way over to here and then shoot this wall over here like that. And I'm avoiding putting this wall closer to this one because these are walls. And if you put the block on them, oh, that's not a wall. That's a solid block uh, like this one. So if I put the block there, you notice it crinkles the wall up. And I don't want a crinkly wall. 
I want a nice smooth wall, at least on the most part. So I want to leave a gap. So let's see. So I got that one there. Three wide. Like that. And then I can just follow this, I guess. One, two, three, four, five. Like that. Oops. There. Now I can put a couple torches here. Just make sure I don't have any natural spawns. So like this needs to go. And oh, there's cracked. So this would be the hallway for the crypts. And then you got each sarcophagus goes in one of those little cubbies. And then it just sort of ends right there. So they're all kind of a separate wing. So we have the big path coming through here and a wing for each of those. And then here, one, two, three, four, five, right there. You know, three, yeah, that's right. So right there would be the next one. push that over a little bit three wide and then this would be the other wall right there and then that's four or five and this would be the final one right there and then this let's see so this would be the walkway through there. Like that. And then we'll, I guess we'll just do this. And this one here. Oops. Boy, that's a lot of noise for those guys up there. And I think I had a smaller area going through here. And this may be more for shrines. You know, because those will be full sarcophagus. Maybe these will just be like little cubby holes for uh, like a like a shrine or a monument it won't have to be the whole thing it doesn't even have to be that deep so like that yeah so so it would sit like there on that block whatever I'm using for the, the shrine And then, yeah, as you're walking by, there'll be like a little arch thing. So you can see see the shrines as you're going through there. And I could even carve out you know, a little way back this way and do the same thing on this side. Yeah. Because I was figuring this would be the wall there. So if we start here, so it would be... One, two, three, like that. That one there, and then a wall, and then one here. That's fine, yeah, because it doesn't have to go back too far. So that actually works out pretty good. It would go back about that far. So that'll be a wall back there.
something like that. Yeah, so I'd have some on that side and some on this side. I think that's going to work. So that gets this front section. So I'm going to work. Well, let's work on the front section first. And then maybe by the time I get this front section done, we will, uh, or I will have thought of what I'm going to do in the rest of the section. As I'm looking at the time, it is getting to be a little late for this video. So I'm going to call it here. And we'll pick it up in the next one where I start finishing out the floor and do the walls and that kind of stuff in this front area. I want to thank you all for watching. I hope you uh, have a great day and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.